Hey guys, uh, kind of a just little tinkering around project I've got going today. If anybody watches the show Horsepower TV or uh, Muscle Car TV on Spike, a few weeks ago they took an old GM distributor and made an old pump primer. Seemed interesting. Uh, I've seen them uh, in the Summit catalogs and stuff like that. Fifteen, twenty, thirty bucks, something like that. But they made one on there out of an old distributor. Now, in the TV show that I was watching, let me turn this around, kind of see it. Tommy took just an old GM distributor, took it apart, so on and so forth, and took a hacksaw blade and just cut the gear off right there, and used just that short bit of snub shaft left to make his oil pump primer to prime a engine when you a freshly rebuilt engine or what have you before you fire it up now that being said that's a great idea and it works and if you got an old distributor like I have here uh, you can save yourself a few bucks you know just an hour or so of, of time however be aware that on the Oldsmobile engine I don't know if you can really see it there's a hex key hex shaft, or what they actually call an intermediate shaft, that, that drives your oil pump. So that goes down into the oil pump, the distributor gear slides down over top of that, and rotates counterclockwise to operate the pump. The problem is, uh, with hacking just the gear off right there, like they did in the TV show, is that hex key is only down to about right there. So if you hack it off up here above the gear like he did in the TV show, for an Oldsmobile in particular, uh, you basically just wasted your top. There's no way of doing that. So what I did was I took one of these distributors apart. Uh, basically there's a roll pin right there that you drive out. Same deal if you're changing your uh, distributor gear from a steel gear to a bronze gear or something like that for a uh, roller cam. Uh, when you'll drive that out. That'll let you take the gear off the end there. The rest of the distributors fairly self-explanatory um, obviously you gotta take your points out and there's a couple of bolts that hold your vacuum canister in you take the springs off then your uh, advanced weights just slide right off and basically what you're left with is this T-bar well, that T-bar is the top, top part of this distributor shaft now I just used a hacksaw and cut that off and then did the rest of the work on the grinder um, Took me about eh, two hours or so to get what we have here. Ground the gears down, polished it with some uh, Scotch brake pad and what have you, and then did the same deal up here. Uh, ground that down to where that will fit in a 3 h drill. The shaft here, uh, if you didn't want to ground that down, will chuck up into a half inch drill, but I have a 3 h drill, and with an Oldsmobile engine, it turns counterclockwise at the distributor. So I needed a drill that would operate in reverse. My half inch drill is one direction. Uh, so that being said, I just ground that down and polished it. Same deal with this here. Now, once you get that apart, you'll basically hack the, the top part of this distributor shaft uh, or casing, whatever you want to call it, off. And that's what I've done here used a regular hacksaw and hacked it down so that it's just more manageable. Manageable. I mean there's no reason to have all of that up there with a drill chucked into it and so on and so forth. So basically what I've got now is I have the distributor gear with no teeth on it but it's still got the hex part in it and then I'll slide this down over and there is a space that you need to leave there. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the distributor Get around here, you can see it. There is a space in between the bottom of the housing and where the actual gear goes, so you want to kind of maintain something close to that, then have to be exact. But you'll bring this down so far, leaving your space. I'll probably just use a, that body shim there to space it, and then get you a washer and you'll bring that washer down the same way that Tommy did in the uh, episode. You'll bring that down, get your spacing right, and just tack weld that to the shaft that will allow this shaft to turn inside the housing priming the oil pump and what have you 
but when you know it won't, it'll be stuck there so you can pull the whole thing out as a unit and it does still leave a little bit of play so you can spray some lubricant down in there so on and so forth so for a couple hours of time a distributor that I wasn't using was going to throw away anyway because I converted to HEI um, and just something to tinker with now you have once I tack weld that I'll have an engine oil primer or an engine oil pump primer or to prime an engine during the startup so that's today's project if you have any questions uh, shoot me a message at the bottom and I'll answer them but it's a pretty straightforward easy uh, project good for the winter just to tinker around with Stay tuned.